In this video, I'm going to go through the preparation and reaction of anhydrides, also known as acid anhydrides. I'm not going to be drawing the mechanisms for any of these reactions. These are all nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions. For the preparation of an anhydride, the simplest, fastest way to prepare the anhydride is to use an acid chloride and react it with a carboxylate anion. So it's like a deprotonated carboxylic acid. This will do the nucleophilic acyl substitution, replace the chloride with the rest of the anhydride. All the rest of the reactions that we're going to look at, look at are reactions of anhydrides. And before we jump into those, I want to say something really quickly. Um, for the anhydride, Whenever you're doing reactions of anhydrides on paper, typically you're going to be dealing with completely symmetrical anhydrides, meaning that both of the R groups in the anhydride are identical to each other. If you are given a, a problem where the R groups of an anhydride are different from each other, you will need to draw two products for the reaction. I'll explain what I mean by that when we look at our first example. The hydrolysis of an anhydride is a reaction between the anhydride and water. And the nucleophile is going to be the OH group of water. And then again, we're replacing this carboxylate portion with the OH group. So this is going to synthesize a carboxylic acid. Now, let me explain a little bit about the symmetry of the anhydride. If the two R groups of the, so actually, let me back up a little bit. Um, we could be replacing this carboxylate group with the OH, just like I've drawn there, or the reaction could go in the other direction. We could be replacing this carboxylate group with the OH. If the two R groups of the anhydride are identical to each other, then there will only be one type of molecule synthesized in this reaction. But if the two R groups are different from each other, so for example, if this guy, this R group was something different, then you would need to draw both of the products of the reaction, uh, both possibilities um, for the two different products. But like I said, typically on paper, you're gonna be dealing with symmetrical anhydrides. Alcoholysis reaction is a reaction with an alcohol in the anhydride. Uh, if um, you notice, we don't need to use any other reagents in this reaction. When we're doing reactions with anhydride, we need a pyridine solvent here to help neutralize the byproduct of this reaction. That's not the case with the anhydride reactions. With the alcoholysis reaction, we're using the o OR group of the alcohol, placing that on the carbonyl of the, of the original acid chloride or anhydride. For the aminolysis reaction, we are going to need excess of our amine. Our amine needs to have at least one hydrogen on it, and then either two alkyl groups or two hydrogens, two more hydrogens, or one more hydrogen with one more alkyl group. This is going to give us an amide. And then I'll make a note over here that we could also use NH2R, or we could use N. H3. Um, for the next reaction, reduction to an alcohol, this is going to use our strong reducing agent, lithium aluminum hydride, followed by water or H3O+. This will synthesize a primary alcohol. The carbon of the carbonyl group is this carbon right here in our product. For a reduction to an aldehyde, this is where we use our very bulky version of lithium aluminum hydride, lithium aluminum tributoxyhydride, OCCH333 hydride, with step two, either water or H3O+. And this gives us an aldehyde. For a reaction with a Grignard, we need, again, excess of our Grignard in step one, excess RMGBR, followed by water or H3O+. That's going to convert the carbonyl group to an alcohol, and it's going to add two R groups from the Grignard. So two R groups from the Grignard get placed on what used to be the carbonyl carbon. And then last but not least, we can do a reaction with it, lithium dialkyl cuprate, R2CuLi. This produces a ketone using one of the alkyl groups from the lithium dialkyl cuprate. So one of these alkyl groups ends up right here on our product. 